Hi guys, it is Emma and I am coming to you with a review more than a haul or anything else. Um, this is a product that I've been on the fence about trying for a while because they're kind of pricey. I've seen them on Facebook advertised and now they're showing up in my Instagram feed and I had already ordered them at this point. Um, so I know a fellow YouTuber that I watch, Michelle Pilotti. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. What is up with my hair? Jesus. Anyway, um, Michelle Pilotti, she uses these and she had an affiliate code. I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and try them. Use her code, get, I think it was 10% off your total and and the deal that I got, the bundle I got, had free shipping. The product I'm going to be reviewing today is the Monk Personal Air Diffusers. I got the four pack. I'm trying to talk, but somebody's not letting me. Um, I saw a couple of mixed reviews, but I have tried four of the seven flavors that were feelings or whatever you want to call them and they've all worked for me in one way or another. I have Vibrant which is lemon, ginger, and spearmint and it tells you this on the package and then on the device itself it looks like this. It's got a crystal that matches the color at the end and let's see. I'll go ahead and show you how to use it. I also have Happy, which is vanilla, thyme, and fennel. Fennel, if you don't know, is that black licorice taste. Sleepy, which has lavender, chamomile, and kava in it. And Zen. Oops, sorry. Did you see Sleepy? I'm sorry. I had it kind of low. Sleepy. And then there's the ingredients. And then, which has orange, lang lang, and frankincense. This one actually tastes the best. I enjoy it the most. The other ones took me a few times to use to, um, because they don't taste that good. Um, I was hoping with happy with having a vanilla in it, it would have more vanilla taste. But it doesn't. I mean, at the end you kind of have that vanilla taste, but um, basically what you do is you, it's like you're sucking on a straw. You inhale a little bit of smoke till this lights up. You hold it in your mouth for one to two seconds. Then you exhale it through your nose. So no smoke is getting into your lungs, which is good for me because of my heart issues. Um, and the essential oils and combination is absorbed through your palate and your top of your mouth, your nose, all that good stuff. Um, and you do that two or three times. They say two to three times a day, but I only do it when I really need to. Let's see, I'll do Zen because it tastes good. They're all different colors. <laughs> Me. They're all different colors. Sleepy is this pretty cool gun metal color. They do have a necklace that you can get, but it's really expensive. That you can take these and wear them loosely and have it snug in that necklace. That way, all you gotta do is go up like that with it and puff it in or whatever. There's no nicotine, there's nothing, no bad stuff in it. It's not, it's not addictive, it's nothing like that because I can, I tried these for a week and then I had like a cold and then the food poisoning and I didn't want to smoke any, I call, call it smoking it. I didn't want to do these um, while I had the cold because with the cold it's hard for me to breathe with my heart and pulmonary hypertension so I didn't want anything interfering with that like me holding my breath for a couple of seconds causes me to cough. So, let's see, that should be, Zen, I believe is a purple, yeah, it's a nice, cool, bluish purple. 
That's also a reason why it's my favorite. I really like that color. Let's see. And happy is yellow. So, and they color coordinate with their logo on the name and the logo on the packaging. They also have active, which is supposed to make you feel perky and active. Sexy, which is red. I know that, but I don't care about that. Yeah. Anyway, and then in healthy, I think it's the other one. And that one I believe is green. But they do have a seven pack. You can get a, a discounted rate. It saves you a bunch of money. Um, plus you can use a code. They have reached out to me saying, asking me if I want to be a monk ambassador. And I have signed up for that. And hopefully they will send me my code, my affiliation code. So I'll have my first ever code, which is pretty cool. Um, what it does is it gives you a percent off and then it gives me a, I think it's 15% store credit or something. So when I run out, I can get another one and you guys help me get it. And you guys help me maintain my healthy lifestyle. A while back I was really into reading about herbal remedies and stuff like that and what different herbs and things can do. Um, as alternative medicine, I was looking for something to help with my pain, which I could never find. But I did retain that knowledge. Um, that's why it's always good to learn things, read books. You can never, it's like, knowledge is something that nobody can take from you. So, if somebody gives you a book to read, even if it's not something that you're particularly interested in, that's something you need to do is read it because they're trying to give their knowledge and give you some knowledge that maybe you didn't were aware of and don't ever deny your brain of the knowledge okay okay and that means stay in school at least until you 12th grade college is kind of like eh, it depends on what you want to be what's what your career path if it's really worth it or not so but random tangent aside um, I don't know I think I may have mentioned in the video before that recent well recent months I will say um, I have whenever I I can be starving whenever I go to eat if I smell food if I see the food or if I even take a bite, I will get so queasy that I will almost nearly throw up. So I have to take nausea pills before I eat and see if that helps. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And this can be with any kind of food, no matter how bland or I don't eat spicy food um, or greasy or what. I don't know what it is. I've been to the stomach doctor about it and she doesn't know what it is. Fun. Um, but I have found that sleepy it calms me down but doesn't make me sleepy sleepy like my Ambien makes me sleepy to where I'm going to fall asleep it does relax you but it doesn't necessarily make me tired it makes me more relaxed though than Zen which is what I use for my anxiety and it works amazing um, having this on me uh, just puts my mind at ease knowing I can take a few puffs of this and it'll help ease up my panic attack. Um, but this, I was like, okay, so it's not necessarily making me sleepy sleepy, so, um, but it still works. So I was looking at the ingredients and I remember reading somewhere fennel was good for um, nausea. So I was like, well, and that was what was one of the ingredients in the happy one. So I just did the two puffs. I usually just do two puffs um, because if I do three, then I start coughing because I'm holding my breath. My heart is um, working a little bit extra, and for me, that's not good. So um, I just do maybe one or two puffs. Usually it's one or two. I rarely do three. So, 
so uh, but I took my little dose of happy I'll call it that and went in got food because my mom had made uh, steak fries and homemade hamburgers and usually I just get it and sit it over to the side because I know I'm not gonna be able to eat it right then and then lazy NPC comes over at 3 30 in the morning and nukes it up and I'll eat it then for some reason I can eat in the middle like the wee hours of the morning um so and I had to change out my pump medicine all that so about 15 minutes had elapsed so when I came back over I started I had put some cheese on my fries <coughs> can't have fries without cheese they're so good um, and we always get those huge bags of cheese uh, but I noticed I was sitting there eating and I was half I had eaten my fries already eaten one burger and I was halfway through the second burger and I actually stopped and wrote and I am lazy NPC in all caps oh my god I just realized I'm almost done with all of my food I'm not nauseous thanks to this so, even though it may not work to make you happy, look at the ingredients that are listed on each one. And if you have an ailment, research it and see if maybe one of these ingredients or combination of may help you. Because I wasn't even thinking about that when I got this. Um, and that's a, a bonus. That makes the price 1,000 million times worth it because being, I like food, okay? I'm a plus size girl. I'm big boned, as they say. I'm fluffy. Uh, I like food. I like eating. It's a, Especially with my family, it's just a nice experience. But when you go out, and especially when your family is paying, and you go to a sit down restaurant, and you eat like two bites of food. And the food's good. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just that you can't eat, physically eat, or you're going to throw it up and you don't want to throw up in a restaurant. So, um, this is amazing. And it's not even marketed for that. So, like I said, get a Herbology book. There are a dime a dozen. There's probably free e-books, e e if I can talk straight, about Herbology and what different herbs and what different fruits and vegetables and thing ingredients can help with illnesses and try one or get the, the four, like I said the four pack is the cheapest I think it was $63 and then it took 10% off which basically covered the tax and then it was free shipping because any order over $50 or $60 was free so, and these normally, if you get them individually, they're $20 a piece. So, yeah, you got one basically almost nearly free. Um, the seven pack, I want to say, is $120 something dollars. I almost got that, but I'm like, I'm not going to use the sexy. And probably not going to use the active because I don't need to really get active because I can't my blood pressure, my pulse and my blood pressure can't elevate past a certain level and put strain on my heart. So I know my limits, I know my boundaries. I've, uh, I've had to start using those little electric cart stores now, which is a good thing for my back because I wouldn't mind it because I could lean and stand on something the whole time but it's my back is a major issue but just using those it's a lifesaver but you get those snotty looks from older people because they don't physically see my illness usually I'll have my pouch up so they can see this IV line that's that's connected to me 24 7 right there going in so yeah But I just wanted to give these guys like my honest opinion. Like I said, they all these three did what they said they were going to. Happy did make me happy, and I was chatty and whatnot. Vibrant did kind of like wake me up and make me feel like I could concentrate better. Um, and Zen definitely helped me out with my panic attacks. 
I'm not going to say that this is a treatment for a panic attack rather than your anxiety medicine or your prescription medicine, whatever medicine you may be on for it, but this helps bring it down a notch. Or if you feel one coming on, this is a big helper to help prevent it or make it not as bad as it can be. So, and sleepy, like I said, it did relax me. It didn't make me sleepy sleepy, but it did calm me down and relax me. And it does taste pretty good. Like I said, it's got lavender and chamomile, which tastes really good. And that's in the sleepy time tea. That's very popular. So, um, I wouldn't say this is like a, a, a fail on this one. Like, I don't know if it's actually supposed to make you like drowsy or anything, but it, like I said, it relaxes me. So, Anywho, I give these products like five out of five stars, especially for the nausea thing. I think that if you use them in moderation and don't like go show them off to your friends and say, ooh, look what I got, isn't this so cool, and just waste the puffs and the medicine or the essential oils inside, because one will last you a month if you use it every day, three times a day, but I don't. So they're going to last me a little bit longer. But I will do one for you and show you how to use it as well. Let me find one. Let's go with not happy. That one. Happy tastes the worst out of all of these. Okay, we'll go with Vibrant. Vibrant has lemon, ginger, and spearmint in it. So you just, and I keep them in this thing just, and I actually keep them in the envelope that came in a small bubble mailer just to make sure they stay okay so at the end that you inhale from there's a little hole and then there's a crystal here so what you do is you just take it and I'm going to inhale it you'll see this light up and I'll let it light up for about one to two seconds then take it out Hold that smoke with the, instant, the oils in your mouth for two to three seconds and breathe it out gently through your nose. Now for me, it might not be as long as they say because sometimes I can't hold my breath that long because my heart, it's like, hold on, you're not breathing. And then it makes me start coughing like I don't know what I'm doing. Like when you first smoke a cigarette and you're like, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm smoking a cigarette and you cut smoke take a puff and then you start coughing well at least the <laughs> that's what they do in the movies and I still have a little bit of a cold so sorry about that um, it's it's on its way out hopefully but anyway here you go so watch the crystal That's it. You can um, feel it when it comes into your mouth. Um, you, you can taste it, definitely. Um, and usually when I know I've got enough, is it'll almost make like a pop sound, like or a, like a crackle sound. I don't know how to, I don't know if it does it for everybody out there. So if you do use these, let me know if you hear that. That's when I know I've got enough in my mouth. Um, and then I, Exhale it, and you just do it one more time, or t up to three times. So. And there you go. And I just put it back in its little container till I need it again. Um, the happy one, I think it's the time in it, works like catnip on my cats because they were all curious, because the first time I did it out here, they saw the smoke and they all came over, and then I did my second puff and I was using happy, and most of them started like rolling around and acting like they were on catnip so I don't know 
I didn't like directly breathe it in their faces. I was just exhaling it and they were sniffing it like, oh, what's this? But, um, yeah, funny. But that's my mock moment, as they say. Uh, I thought that's probably going to be the title because I think that's what the mock likes us to use. And, like I said, I really enjoy the product. I really does, I, I really does think, I really do think it works, whether it's a placebo effect or it actually does work. I don't know. But they have put a lot of science, thought, and hard work behind this product. And I wouldn't share it or review it otherwise if I didn't like it or use it or think it was appropriate, you know, type of thing. Like, I'll, I've shown you, like, makeup haul slash reviews, and I will tell you if it's, like, eh, not as pigmented as I thought, like, the Alchemist palette. I wasn't thrilled with that because everybody, it kept showing up on everybody else as being so pigmented and stuff, and I'm like, I paid $42 for this, and I, like, drooled over this palette, and I'm barely getting any color. Which, I use it a little bit, but not very much. I found a couple other highlighter thingies that work a little bit better. So, and they're a whole lot cheaper. That is the end of this video. If I get my mock ambassador code, coupon, link, whatever thing, I will put it down below for you guys in the description box if you want to try it. Like I said, if you have tried it, tell me which one you tried and if it did work for you or not. Um, I'm curious to see. Especially like the active healthy and the sexy. Like the healthy one, I'm not, I'm tempted to try, but I know I'm not gonna, that's not gonna make me healthy because I know what I have is terminal. And so that's kind of like a mood point. But these four work for me. I'm very satisfied with these. When I first got them, I was like, I don't know if they're gonna work or not. It's probably just a gimmick, but they have. And I would definitely recommend them to anybody out there who's suffering from anxiety or just needs a little get up and go or just somebody that needs to chill, bring it down a notch. Definitely try these. Um, I mean, only thing you're gonna lose is your money. And like I said, there's no nicotine or anything like that. It's not an e a e cigarette or vape or anything. You don't actually take any smoke into your lungs. You keep it in your mouth and exhale it out. So it is perfectly safe. So you can go to monk, M O N Q, dot com, and you can read up all about it there and see the different flavors slash moods. That they have and they have three nature themed ones as well um, so that they just released so check them out and see if you like them or not I mean definitely do some research about it if you're on the fence like I was for a while find a few different youtuber videos because some youtuber videos are like sponsored to where they're like going to say nothing but good things and some are more honest like me I'm like telling you like sleepy doesn't make me drowsy but it does relax me but which is fine because I can still use that for my anxiety as well if I ever run out of the zone one so anyway that's that um, I think I'll shall end it here because it's about dinner time and I need to go mix some of my medicine up so I will see you in the next video and let me know if you tried these. Let me know if you like them, which ones you tried, all that good stuff. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever it is, the whole spiel, you guys know it. So I think I have 25 subscribers now, yay! Once I get to 100 there's a big giveaway, we've been getting stuff behind the scenes and we're gonna do this really big giveaway and which includes like makeup and just novelty items and just things we've picked up here and there 
um, that anyone can enter as long as you're subscri a subscriber. So, I will see you in the next video. And this is them signing off. I'm trying out outros. If you have an idea for an outro for me, um, let me know because I can't think of anything cute or quirky or catchy. And then my signing off is what I, I first started using. So I'm just going to use that, I guess, until I can think of something more clever. So anyway, then my signing off. See you later. And yeah, my dad was in the Coast Guard. I can do that. So I see you. Don't, don't say that. I can't do that. You're not military. I'm the daughter of a veteran, so. Bye, guys.